Now, we are going to use the quadratic formula to find for the solution of the quadratic equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. The first thing that we have to consider is that the equation should be on the standard form. It appears that the equation is already on the standard form, so we can now identify the values of a equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals negative 10. When using the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. By substitution for the values of a, b, and c, negative b plus or minus and then b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. By simplifying, we'll have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times a negative 10 I will have a positive 40 all over 2 times 1 is 2. Next, 3, negative 3, plus or minus, I can now get the sum of the radical, which is a 49 all over 2. The next thing is find for the square root of 49, which is 7. So I will have a negative 3 plus or minus 7 all over 2. First, root will be the positive root. So our x sub 1 will be negative 3 plus 7 all over 2. In which case, the sum of the numerator is positive 4 over 2. Therefore, the first root in simplified form is 2. For the second root, wherein we'll have an x sub 2, we'll have a negative 3 minus 7 all over 2. Getting the sum of the numerator gives us a negative 10 over 2. In which case, the simplified form of negative 10 over 2 is a negative 5. But it's still not yet because we have to find out if there is an extraneous root. Checking to the original equation, we'll have x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. When x is equal to 2, we'll have 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 10 equals 0. Getting the square of 2, we'll have 4. The product of 3 and 2, we'll have 6 minus 10 equals 0. Getting the sum of 4 and 6, we'll have 10 minus 10 equals 0. And the difference of 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. For the next root, is negative 5. When x is equal to negative 5, our equation x squared plus 3x minus 10, by substitution, we will now have a negative 5 squared plus 3 times a negative 5 minus 10 equals 0. Squaring a negative 5, we'll have a positive 25. Getting the product of positive 3 and a negative 5, we'll have a negative 15. And then negative 10 equals 0. 25 minus 15 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is 0. It appears that both values of x satisfies the equation.